Oh, hey guys, welcome back. So today's another plant tour video and it's rainy again, guys, in Toronto, which is fine. We had sun for three days straight. That was wonderful. So I guess I'll start out with my baby anthuriums. I'm just gonna look at them. Okay, okay, okay. Two out of three look good. <laughs> I can't believe, like, I didn't expect these leaves to get like so big. Okay, calm down. Ooh, wow, it's a lot. This is so exciting. Okay, the last time I showed my Anthurium Crystallinum crossed with Magnificum. I said that the newest leaf was the same size as the second newest leaf, I guess. It's a lot bigger now. <laughs> Look how pretty. Oh my God, it is a lot bigger. And like, I think she's settling in and she's gonna harden off soon, but like, wow guys. Wow, this is crazy. You're so beautiful. Okay, so that's her. And then, oh my God, the Bumps. And Theory Magnificum crossed with Luxurians. Look at this. Okay, so the last leaf was like that. And now, guys, seriously. Okay, I still don't know if you're done growing, but you're still doing your thing. Okay, let's go to the sad one. Yeah, I mean, the, the roots are still healthy. Uh, Crystallinum, oh, so she, remember the last time I told you that I think the leaf got stuck? Cause she like dried out a lot. Anyhow, so no movement really, but the roots are healthy. Again, I keep showing these roots, but they're fine. Feeling the plant, like it's well hydrated. So a little bit behind, but like, but that's okay. And again, the gray ghosts, the Hoya gray ghosts are in here. They feel fantastic, like more firm than, than ever, really. <laughs> Yep, second one feels good too. And then the one that kept falling out is feeling so good. She still looks a little wrinkly, but that's normal, guys. Um, she feels fantastic. And you can even tell with the tendril. This tendril, it's a lot firmer. <laughs> Do you see how it's just bouncing back? I know at least there's a little bit of root growth, which is very, very exciting. So she wasn't dry. I just like, I feel like at least once a week I have to show these. So I'm just gonna refill um, the reservoir with just water. And yeah, I'm just gonna put them back. Uh, I'm gonna wait till these leaves harden off before, you know, I switch them into a bigger pot. I know y'all were yelling that <laughs> I should wait a little longer for these anthuriums for the new leaves to harden off and to mature a little bit. So I will. But all good things, guys. Like, I'm very happy with this. Okay, this is just an update on my I think it was Friday's video that I put this variegated Monstera and Sonii in sphagnum moss. What was she in before? It was Pawn. And I was just like taking the plants out and everything. And I see this like cute little root. This is new. Isn't this amazing? Again, I said that Ed and Sonia is like the roots, they're not like thick, but like they branch a lot and they get really, really big. So I'm really excited. Oh my gosh. And I, you know what? I really like the variegation. It's pretty balanced. Like there's white on this side, there's white on that side, then green all over. Oh my God, so cute. I'm gonna have to say bye to you though, cause I can't keep you. <laughs> and then other plants that are in moss, strawberry shakes here. So uh, I got a question. Oop. So I get this question about where do I sell plants currently? Where will I be shipping? When will I start shipping? Anyhow, I do wanna say plan is like, I'm really, really hoping I'm able to ship plants in the spring of 2023. So I'm thinking like March, April of 2023, it's only going to be within Canada. So it's just really annoying. It, it becomes very difficult shipping to the US. If you're in Canada, it's a little frustrating because half of my viewers are American. <laughs> so yeah, so Sorry guys. But again, spring 2023 within Canada, I might start with like local pickup first, like around the GTA in Toronto. And currently I don't have like an online Etsy or like a shop or anything where I sell my plants. Okay, back to the shakes, cause they're gorgeous. This one dried a little bit too much, but like, look at these roots. So cute, again, one of my favorite leaves of all time. Oh my God, this little cute one. I can't, okay, where's the root? Oh, guys. So, so insane. Okay, this one is still wet and it, this root, I think they're all gonna do this just cause you know, the medium's not big enough, but look at this juicy, juicy red root. It's going up. It's already up here. And I think it's like past, oh my God, there's another one over here. What? I'm doing this thing where like I save space and I'm taking like a bigger one and leaving a bit of space like that and then putting a cup on top so then I could just like stack 
stack all these together. I don't know if that's a thing. But wow, I'm only seeing this root now. Okay, you are doing, you're doing great. So that one doesn't need to be watered. This one, this one has a nice root also. Look at that, okay. This one, it looks like it's doing nothing. Anyhow, the leaves still feel good. Ah, uh, so yeah, this one's dry. No roots, I can't see a thing. Thing. Oh my god, and this one, oh my gosh, look how dehydrated and sad this one is. So there's two plants in here. There's one that's predominantly green, and there's one that's like super variegated up here. Okay, I'm not gonna do it now because she's super dry. I don't know if you could hear the crispinesses. Maybe next plant tour video, I'm going to separate these um, just so I can sell this. This is the super variegated one. Oldest leaf, still pretty balanced, and then the two up here. Are you kidding? Perfect strawberry shake to sell. And this cute one. I'm gonna have to wait for this one. She has perked up a lot and the new leaf did open like more. I think she's okay, but like. Y'all saw how dry the roots were in the last planter video. Anyhow, so I'm just putting plain water. And I wanna say like more often, because I don't make nutrient solution a lot anymore. Like I said, I only change nutrient solution in my plants in LECA once a month. I'm, I'm, tr I'm still doing a trial of it. It's going well. The last time I changed my nutrient solution was the last week of December. The plants in LECA are fine. Anyhow, what was the point? Oh yeah, so nowadays I'm I'm just watering with plain tap water. Uh, I am gonna keep like a little reservoir of water just so the rest of the moss can soak it up eventually. Um, I did that with the, um, I think it was this one. I'm pretty sure I left a little bit more water. I also did it with the Monstera adansonii here. Anyhow, like I said, the substrate, whatever you're using needs to be super wet. So all these shakes are good. I'm just gonna put them back. Okay guys, I'm gonna grab my Monstera aurea, the propagation from the last plant tour video. I got an overwhelming <laughs> response of y'all trying to help me. And y'all said that the moss at the very bottom of the moss pole that was living in Lekka is eventually gonna like rot or mold or like it won't last essentially. So I'm gonna dig up the moss. I don't know how, I think I have to take like a wire and then make a hook and then just like slowly grab the moss just I don't know, okay, let's go, on, let's go on the floor guys. Is this okay? Again, Gorgina, look at this leaf. Obsessed with this leaf. Oh my gosh, okay. So if y'all missed it, I put a moss pole um, I put moss at the very bottom when I repotted uh, the propagation. And because it's in Lekka and she's always gonna have a reservoir, um, y'all were telling me that um, it was gonna mold. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be okay. I think I was just tired, guys. Um, okay, I'm actually just gonna have to make... Is this the one where my, my hand does fit through? Okay, I'm gonna grab a glove, cause like... <laughs> I'm kind of scared of what I'm gonna find. I'm gonna, mm, I think I could just use my hand. This is weird. <laughs> it just looks weird because I'm wearing a glove too, okay. I've put moss poles in Lekka and like they were so unstable and I know I zip tied the pole in at many points, but like for example, my, um, was it the Brantiatum? This looks weird. <laughs> I think, <gasps> I think my arm is stuck. Okay, hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you know that feeling when like, <laughs> okay. I was gonna do it again. Okay, I'm gonna have to use hooks cause like that was kind of scary, my arm. Okay, I'm just grabbing one of these wire trellises, bending it into like a hook like that. We'll see. Yeah, this isn't doing anything. I feel like I'm gonna have to put my arm back in here. <laughs> Do you know what? I think I'm gonna have to make an L just so I could get it under. Oh my God, we got some. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna take forever if the, that's all I got. Oh, it's happening. I feel like this is like the claw, you know that like, I almost called it a vending machine. Those like, is it a carnival game? I have no idea where like there's a claw thing. I feel like it's that because even though you get something, like the fear of it dropping after all your hard work. Oh. I could just undo this tab just so it's wider at the top. Does anyone watch Dr. Pole? I feel like I'm him right now. <laughs> I, my window's also open behind y'all and I don't even know what people are thinking in the condos. Okay, we got a lot more there. Okay, there's a little bit more. I'm gonna have to use tongs. I don't know if that's gonna work. And y'all don't tell my boyfriend. He has strict rules about like kitchen stuff being used for plant stuff. He doesn't watch my videos, so like he won't know. 
Okay, oh, this is easier. It's really, I don't know if y'all can tell, it is dark in here, I can't see a thing. Okay guys, I just got an iPhone. I don't know if I mentioned that like a month ago, but I've been an Android person since the beginning of time. I have nothing against Apple guys, I really don't. It's just like hard if you had an Android your whole life to maneuver the iPhone. Okay, there's a little bit left. Okay, I think I got the last. Okay, so you can see that there's no more moss. Okay, grabbing my Leka, I'm just gonna rinse it quick. And I'm just taking the Leka and just putting it through. Okay, I feel like the new leaf's gonna be bruised a little bit because if you just haven't zoomed in, I don't know if y'all can see still, but like it's like bruised uh, just because she was like rubbing against the pole. And because like the thought of putting the old moss just like, it gives me an ick. I'm just gonna use clean moss. I'm gonna boil the old moss. Oh yeah, and y'all kept saying also not to pack it so much. So I'm gonna try not to pack the moss too much. <laughs> Okay, I think that's good. So, fingers crossed, guys. Um, I really hope this Aurea gets really big. Okay, I think um, someone commented that they want to see my upper premnum Penatum marble. Um, here she is. So guys, I don't know if like, I just need to keep the pole consistently moist. I'm not doing a good job, because she is dry. But the leaves, like, they don't open up. Oh, they don't open up, they just stay that way. Unless there's like a lot of green. As mentioned in the last planter video, uh, this marble is on a mini moss pole. I just stacked two on top of each other. I was scared of putting this planter over it because I know they stay like really wet if the nursery pot is like fully covered. Pepper Premnim's super thirsty. She's already dry. Moss pole is super dry. So yeah guys, I'm just like slowly, y'all can't even see. I'm slowly putting ooh, water over the moss. I'll just let her sit to drain a little bit. I'm gonna talk about my Phalaenopsis Miki Fortune Cat 72. Nick, thank you for all the orchid advice. I appreciate it. Um, he said, I know it sucks, but you should cut the spike on your fowl and it will help it focus on pushing more roots out faster and it'll recover faster. Oh, I know, I know this is a thing. I know flowers take a lot of energy. Obviously if flowers are present, the energy is channeled to the flowers. I don't want to though. <laughs> I really don't want to. Definitely like fantastic advice. I think I'm gonna hang on because I really just need this this sub spike <laughs> to bloom. And also the tip of the main one is pushing out a new thing here. So I know it's gonna take longer and I know she, and I know she might take a longer time to bounce back, but I think I'm gonna keep it the way she is. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate the advice. And also Lisa told me to put a stake on my orchid and I know I should. I just hate like putting it in net pots with Lekka. Ooh, same wire that I made a hook. Maybe I should just take it out again. Why don't we just take the Lekka out again? This root is the best root. I cut off the other roots that were dead. Okay, I didn't like where it was going, so I'm just gonna use. So the straight one came with one of my orchids, so I don't know where you could buy just like a straight wire like this. Um, I'm just gonna loop it. I'm just gonna hope that it stays. So. I'm basically just gonna zip tie the top part of this wire. Okay, I'm just gonna add a clip to the top part. I don't know. Oh my gosh, she looks funny now. Okay, well, now she's super secure. She's just doing her thing like this. Okay, I'm gonna put her back next to the window. Okay, permanent marble is all ready to go back. Okay guys, I wanna look at my Philodendron Luxurians. I showed this in my New Year's resolution video. I wanna try to grow this on a moss pole. I'm like kind of scared because she hasn't done a thing in like a few weeks. I still have this old leaf, I should really take this off. Okay, into the garbage. Oh, I'm seeing a new root. 
Future Kim Zoom in, look at that lovely red root. Okay, so she's like fine. I remember in the summer, I put this plant in pond just for rehab purposes. She rooted really well and quickly, but I think because it was like six to seven months ago, nutrition wise, because I'm pretty sure I didn't really add nutrient solution to this one. Maybe that's why she slowed down quite a bit. I'm like thinking if I should wait until there's another leaf before I attach the moss pole. Okay, well wait, let me just water her. Yeah, I'm just thinking guys, because when she was in Lekka, she grew really quickly. So maybe because she was getting more nutrients, um, I'll wait for another leaf. There is something in there. So hopefully she does okay. Okay, the thirstiest Jose Bono ever. But yeah, I want to show you. I'm just so happy. Look at this root. And I think the newest root right there, future can zoom in. Look at that. And just seeing how much this moss pole dries out and how fast this plant is growing, I'm just going to add an extension. I just took the stopper out of the bottom and we're just gonna water over it and then I'll add more moss. Okay, while that's draining a little bit, I'm just gonna add more moss. I think to that point is good. I'm just leaving a bit of space here so I could stack another one on top. I'm just tipping the excess water out. Okay, I'm just gonna put her back. Okay guys, I'm just checking on my Jose Bono propagations and my Thai Constellation propagation. So this one I put in spag and she had a root but she's definitely grown a lot more. Like she didn't, she wasn't this big before. Look at that root at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I love these plants. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of water because the moss is a little bit on the drier side. But how exciting is that? That is super exciting. Okay, so that's one. Guys, all these look so good. Okay, remember the Jose Bono that like, I got so many comments that are like, I want that Jose Bono. <sighs> look at these beautiful oh my god this specimen's amazing she's dry but like not completely dry you can see some condensation there but new root growth right there look at the fuzziness oh my gosh okay so it's just that anyhow i'm just gonna wet the moss because the top is really dry just because the top's dry she'll soak up all the water down here okay i'm not remembering oh yeah this is the one that i because there's four leaves on the previous one. So no new root growth. I mean, the existing roots, I can see them and they're doing just fine. She is super dry. I think this one had a larger root system than the other one. Uh, so again, I'm just adding some water. And yeah, so that's her. This is one of my like bottom cuttings or like my mother plant. Uh, she's just dry. Like I looked in the reservoir. She's totally dry. Add some water to the reservoir. Cute. This uh, pot of single node cuttings. Uh, it looks like I put them in a nutrient solution. I'm just gonna change it just cause it's been a little bit too long. And because this was recent, like you could see the beginnings there of some new roots. This one over here, there's a whole bunch. Yeah, anyhow, I have this under a grow light. So just super exciting to see that nothing's squishy. Okay, back it goes in here. Okay, guys, <laughs> Miss Syndapsis. Okay, I got a comment asking me why I keep saying Syndapsis are fast growers. When it comes to rate of growth, there are mixed opinions about Syndapsis. I am just basing this on my personal experience growing Syndapsis. Um, so my Syndapsis Trubii Moonlight, y'all know that she was a beast and she grew so fast. I had a Syndapsis Silver Splash at one point, super, super fast. Anyhow, super Super exciting. Um, I need to wet the moss pole. That's that's why she's here. Uh, but look at these new leaves. Oh my gosh! Because before it was like only this one. Um, she's starting to look a little normal. I don't know what happened with that last leaf. I don't even know if it's a leaf. But yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited for these new leaves. Um, obviously, when they grow a little bit longer, I'll guide them up here. I'm just super excited. I might put some cling wrap. Over here, I'm still out of press and seal. It's on its way. Um, yep, yeah, roots are still good. <laughs> oh my god, let me, ah! Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm just gonna water the moss pole here. 
So yeah, guys, I'm starting to look around because I really want to grow more synapsis. I'm trying to look around and pick ones that interest me. It's really hard because there's so many synapsis. Also, I feel like these plant chores are just me either adding moss to a moss pole, attaching a plant to a moss pole, watering a moss pole. Okay. I'm just gonna put her in the pot for now. I'm just gonna move the press and seal up here. And I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see, but where that press and seal was before, look at that root. She is latching on to the pole. How exciting. Oh my gosh, that's really, really exciting. Oh my God, there's a plant that grew under the moss pole, guys. This, it, do you see how it's going through? Anyhow. She'll be fine. <sighs> okay, guys, this Hoya is gonna be a problem. <laughs> a problem in the best way possible. Hoya Thomsonii white flowers. So, future Kevin put in a picture. These flowers are so cute. They're white. They have undertones of pink. Beautiful. I'm not really a fan of the scent. The scent is fine, but I think they're a little bit strong. I know people have different opinions. I know people like the smell of this, this flower. It's not a bad smell. She, I'm gonna show you all these potential flowers. So there, 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 there. Do you see that one there? There, there. I just keep rotating her and finding new ones. There, 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 there. Oh my God, there's more under here there there's more on this side oh my god there do you see all of them there there and then back there there literally everywhere this is why it's a problem because they're just gonna bloom right after each other and the smell is just gonna like fill up the room there have been nights because often with hoyas the scent is really strong either early morning or nighttime there have been times i've woken up and it's been way too strong that i can't get back to sleep so We'll see what happens. Hopefully it's different. Because there's multiple plants in here and that's why she's full. Y'all know that I propagated her. She's so thirsty. And like, I can tell she's really dry, which is weird because I did fill up the reservoir recently. So she's in a Lachusa self-watering pot. Yeah, super dry, okay. And if y'all are wondering, this Hoya is right under a grow light. The grow light is here, centimeters or inches away. And I think that's why she's blooming. Isn't this incredible, guys? Also got one comment the last time I showed this plant because I asked you guys if y'all are interested in the Thompsonii. This is a plant I can afford to like cut a lot of. So let me know if you want or are interested uh, because if I get enough responses, I will probably cut her up a bit just to just to sell. Okay, Zingonium Pink Splash is right in front of her. She's dry. I mean, the roots still look good and there's a little bit of moisture, but I'm just gonna water her uh, with plain water and yeah i'm really excited i really want this one to grow back to like a big beauty y'all know that i had to like save this plant she was literally nothing or like one leaf and now she's she's this so i'm really excited for her i feel like i'm just showing you all my plants but <laughs> i notice these strawberry shake propagations um they're dry so they're in pond you can hear how dry they are. There is movement, guys. That's gonna be the new plant. Okay, I'm gonna put water. These two, I was so scared of because they were basically stumps. And usually when I have situations like this, I like to put them in a container with a lid just to boost up the humidity. But I'm pretty sure these are the ones that came from moss because I can see the old roots up there. Look at this new leaf. And I think she's variegated. She's definitely variegated. Oh my God, that's so exciting. Okay, uh, super dry. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing and add some water. Same with this one. Uh, I even show you guys, but look, there's a new growth. How exciting. <laughs> okay, I'm just noticing this and I need to show you guys. It's so exciting. Okay, so I showed you guys. Uh, this is my Phalaenopsis mini mark. Uh, so she hasn't bloomed yet, but look at these. Look at this beautiful, look at all those buds. Oh my God, so exciting. This one is my Phalaenopsis Luz Berry Trinity. I just want to show you guys, and I don't know if y'all are going to see. Right there, you just can zoom in. I think it's blurry, but that's a new spike. That is a new spike. How wonderful. That is 
That's crazy. I'm super excited because like very similar to the mini mark. They're pretty long lasting blooms and they're just so cute. And like future Kevin put the picture. Oh, these blooms are everything. Yeah, again, I am keeping the nutrient solution literally like right here just so they're touching the wicks. And the last time I filled the nutrient solution was the last week of December. So roughly two to three weeks ago. Okay, and there's two more that I'm super excited about. This is big. This is big, guys. I don't know which is which, which is, it's gonna be really exciting to see, but they're both, and it's hard to tell. Right over there, future Kevin Zoom in. That is going to be a new spike, and I can't wait. I don't know which one you are. You might be like the pearl one. I'm forgetting the name. Future Kevin put a picture. It might be the pearl one, or it might be this just plain kind of white one with like yellowy orangey center. But the difference is like these flowers get really, really big compared to like others. Anyhow, so this one is also pushing out a spike right there. Future Kevin zoom in right there. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. I can't believe I just had to like move these fowls into Lekka. I literally just had to do that for them to like push out new new spikes. And obviously they do have like a reservoir to pull from. So I get to ignore them more. I have waited so long for these to bloom. Anyhow, super exciting. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, and I guess the last update is the the diamond panda one so i love when these start to get ready to open they like get really dark because if y'all remember the flowers they have like a purple petal and it's just everything guys so yeah not open yet but she is maturing nicely and like i kind of want to make sure that there's more flowers because every time this plant has bloomed in the past, which is like two or three times, she's only had like one or two, I think. It looks to me that she's gonna have more. And I mean, it's still early on. I mean, future Kevin can like knock these over by accident, but like, I'm gonna try to be careful. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys. It's so exciting. <laughs> okay guys, I guess that's it. Also, is anyone watching the Australian Open right now? Because I feel like no one watches tennis these days. I love tennis. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the variant, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>